It's not a version of heaven, but it's not hell either. You blink, trying to decide on where you are. There is no way you can still be alive, not after what you did. Is there? You try to push the memory down, but it refuses to leave easily. It refuses to stop. It assaults you. It slams against your mind until you can do no more than whimper as you face it. The gun barrel in your mouth. The taste of metal and cordite. The click of the trigger. A flood of white. Now this. Empty space with nothing but a bench and fog. It looks like a school, but not any school you've ever been to. You rise unsteadily to your feet. Things start spinning and you fall onto the bench. Confusion sets in. This makes no sense. It really doesn't. But you don't know why. It's like you've always been here. Like this was inevitable. It can't be though. This can't be the place they told you about. The place you told them was all superstition. The place you told them could not be real, the place the ancient texts spoke of. down at your hand. There is something there. In your heart. You know it is yours. You can feel it throb. You start to eat it. Then he emerges from the fog and asks how it tastes. You know the answer, and before the words are out of your mouth, he has replied, Consume it, for it is mine as well. Then you are floating in white. Silence. A distant, dripping noise. No. No, it can't be. You have to be dead. Voices on the other side, they are drifting on the wind, coming to you. Who called the ambulance? It was finally done, you were finally free, you can't go back, not after what you've seen. You wake in the hospital bed. Scared, you touch your face and feel only bandage. You try to move and find you cannot. All you can do is stare and blink. A nurse leans down. You hear two words. Locked in.
trapped in your own body, now you finally know where you are. You died. You were not worthy. You are back here. Back in hell.